Today's video is the most awaited and requested video and that is my skincare routine. So I'll try to give you helpful tips as much as possible. I recently dyed my hair so I don't want any water to get on my hair. So I'm just going to use these pins that I have um, to fix my side bangs. I got these for Christmas, but they're perfect for skincare. My first step is... I use this product called Bifesta. I used the Etude Houses, remember before? Um, but I recently changed it to this, and it's very gentle. So I'm really liking this one. I usually just place it on my eye so that my makeup can melt and like become easy to remove. Instead of like rubbing it, Gently swipe it. So for the first round, I just remove whatever I see. You might think I'm done, but there's still lots in here and under here. So what I do is I fold the cotton pad that I just used into half. And then I fold it into half again. And you get this like really pointy corner. And then with this, I go into the detail and really remove all my makeup. So these are good for erasing spots that are really hard to get with just a cotton pad. They're just so fluffy and wide. Clean. The next thing I do is use this oil cleanser to get rid of foundation and remaining eye makeup on my face. If I just wash my face with a foam cleanser, I feel like the makeup doesn't get removed completely. So that's why I use the oil cleanser first to make sure all my makeup is melted. I also focus on like rolling my nose because I think oil cleansers really help get rid of whiteheads and blackheads. I really like using cleansing oil because in winter it gets dry and my skin is dry so I just kind of moisturize my skin with that. For the past couple months, my skin broke out. Like it was in a really bad condition but I tried to cover it with makeup so a lot of you probably didn't notice but <laughs> I really didn't know why my skin became so bad all of a sudden but as soon as I changed my foaming cleanser my skin like came back to its original state. It's gentle, but it cleanses my skin really well. So I'm just gonna pump it twice and then cleanse my skin. I don't spend too much time using the foaming cleanser because I have heard it's bad if you use it more than 30 seconds or something. I'm gonna try to absorb the remaining water into my skin. After I cleanse my face, um, I use a facial mist and just give initial hydration to my face. And I don't use toner because I feel like it's too much of a watery material. So like if I spread it all over my face, it basically just dries and like dehydrates my face even more. So I prefer using a lighter facial mist, if that makes sense. And just tap it. I place a lot of importance on glowy skin. So I use serum every night to make my skin look a bit more glowy and healthy. What I really like is this Estee Lauder um, Advanced Night Repair Serum. But this one's really expensive, especially for a student like me. This is my mom's. I don't really use it a lot. So if you guys are broke like me, <laughs> you can go with cheaper options. Next is moisturizer. So in summer or like in warmer weather, I use a lighter moisturizer, but whenever it gets a bit drier, I use Biotherma's Intensive Balm. So this one is very affordable and extremely effective, especially for dry skin. So if you have a bit more oily skin, maybe you should check out their PP cream or other regular cream because they have many different kinds. So in winter, I just buy like a huge bottle so that I can put it all over my face and body. 
for layering my moisturizer, I put like a tiny amount initially and then I apply it once more. I heard it's more effective that way because the product really gets absorbed into your skin. I'm going to show you guys this acne patch from Olive Young. So this patch helps calm down acne that just like starts to form. This initially had 102 patches, but I only have three left. <laughs> this sort of like prevents me from touching my acne. So I'm just gonna put it on my chin. Did I get hormonal acne? I leave it on my skin for a day or two and it either goes away or it thrives so that it's good enough to pop. Either way, it helps with acne. For like acne scars and dark spots, I use Moscona. But when I was in the United States, I used Dermatix. That's also for scars, so if you're not in Korea, you can get Dermatix. So I just use my Q-tips and apply it to places that need treatment. I'm always tempted to like touch imperfections on my skin, but they end up becoming worse. So I like to use the scar medicine so that, you know, after I touch them, I can help cure them as well. I'm gonna put the pop cream, which is my current favorite. This lip balm is very good because it's not sticky, but very moisturizing. An alternative to this would be Vaseline. I also really like Vaseline. Okay, that's essentially how I do my skincare at night. Um, it's quite simple. It's not that expensive because I know some Koreans do like 10 step, 15 step, or like 20 steps. I don't do that because I feel like if you put too much products on your face, they all just mix on your face and don't get absorbed. So my big skin secret is the matcha face mask and it's very easy to make. I take like a teaspoon of matcha powder, but if you don't have the powder, you can just use the matcha tea bag with boiling water instead. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water. Um, now I'm gonna soak four cotton pads in here and I'm just gonna move them around so that they can get enough matcha water. And then all I'm gonna do is just put it in the fridge and wait until next morning. Everybody. Um, it's currently Christmas in Korea right now, so Merry Christmas. Yeah, so I just washed my face and before going into morning skincare, um, I'm gonna start my day with hot tea as I always do. I really believe that drinking either hot water or tea in the morning helps with like blood circulation, so it helps keep my skin look brighter and younger. So it's not just about like what I put on my skin. It's also about what I eat and drink. I'm gonna have this peppermint tea. Oh my god. Oh, I can't stand my dry skin, so I just brought my facial mist. So I took out the face mask that I made yesterday. So green. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this and take it apart into two pieces. I used to like put cucumbers on my face. It feels sort of like that because it's green and round. Yeah, and the good thing about taking these apart is that um, since they're really thin, they stick to your face and stay up really well. So I'm gonna leave these on like this for about 20 minutes and then take them all off. I came back. Does my skin look any brighter? I'm not gonna use serum like I did last night because in the morning, I like to minimize my steps as much as possible. So unless I want to do like a glowy makeup look, I usually don't put serum. I'm gonna use the same Bioderma moisturizer on my face. And I'm gonna end my morning skincare routine with a sunscreen. Even when you're staying home, there's always sunlight coming through the window, so I try to do sun care at home as well. So that 
that concludes my skincare routine. Um, I hope that the tips that I shared with you guys are helpful and I'll